What other choice do we have? In early 2009, as we recognized that more than 5,000 men and women in America were getting killed on the job every year, and tens of thousands of more injured and exposed to work at work to potentially long-term health hazards, the new administration quickly recognized that significant changes had to be made at OSHA to have a real impact on the workplace. But there's some things that we do know, and there's some certain things we knew before this tragedy ever occurred. These explosions are preventable. They have been preventable. And we know what it takes to make sure that they, uh, they don't occur. So as we proceed with the investigation, uh, we'll provide the public, the world, and particularly the families with the facts as we can determine them upon the conclusion of our investigation as to what went wrong at the MRT bridge. What happens was that in the country of India, in Bhopal, there was a big uh, escape of a chemical called methyl isocyanate, 42 tons of it, that uh, exposed about 200,000 people and killed about 2,500. This is the event that triggered the beginning of the Chemical Safety Board, because the U.S. Clean Air Act of 1990 decided that there should be an agency in the United States that would prevent this kind Order of... safe and secure and healthy so that they can do their job is the most important thing. People need to recognize that it's people who will determine what nations will lead and what will fail. When I was on active duty over 35 years ago in the Air Force, we had a management axiom that said, if you take care of the people, the people will take care of the job. And that's what we have to do. 